This is great because it's an interview without actually the person asking the question, so I just get to ramble. Oh, in this lake, on oh, the You want me and he says she is tell me where you'd be. You should have been here yesterday when tomorrow was today. I'm going out. Oh, in this lake, on oh, the I'm going out. Oh, in this lake. It's the All About Me show, by me, for me, and I'll actually narrate this later as well. So. Because if you're actually watching the interview with me, for some reason, you're, you've seen everything else and you go, what's this last thing? I'm Robert Weaver. I'm Wingnut. I'm the guy with the silly nickname that everyone can remember. It's, it's a nickname. No one knows the story. I have lots of long stories, and this is not one of them. I've not told anyone where my nickname came from. And I'm just going to kind of stick with that. Surfing is a selfish sport. It's about you getting a really good wave. Screw the other guy. The same thing. Hang out with old guys. You're going to look good. Robert Weaver, wingnut. The nickname says it all. His non-stop repartee masks a deep-seated admiration for Robert, Paul, and Mark. Yeah, I hang out with old guys all the time. They were his idols as a kid, and the reason he's a surfer. It's their inspiration that has allowed Wingnut to fulfill another need, to constantly be the center of attention. Oh, in the sleep, oh, in the sleep. It's pretty lucky to get asked to do a surf movie, especially one with Bruce Brown and getting to do Endless Summer 2. And then, you know, when Dana was doing Liquid to get to do that, it's enabled me to continue the, the absolute cartoon lifestyle that I have. You know, there's ways to make a lot more money in the world. You know, you can get a real job and do something, but there's no way to have any more fun. I mean, the reason that Sam and Robert and the guys that are in this industry are in it is because of the freedom that it allows you. You know, like right today, it was a beautiful day, offshore winds, half the crew split, and they went surfing because they can't. You know, it's enabled me to transition into, you know, a little pro surf career. I take people on guided surf trips that's really fun. You know, I get to be a tour guide. I get to do for other people what Robert did for me. You know, take me around, show me the surf spots, and, you know, handle all the problems. It's really fun. So, you know, these guys are, you know, a debt of gratitude. One more semi-employed surfer in the world. Longest I've gone without surfing was probably about a month, month and a half, two months. I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis and at a certain point I couldn't surf, so that was it. It affects my, my disco skills, mostly. I'm not as able to really dance the way that I used to. You know, and that, that's hard for me. I've done, I've done a bunch of benefits for the MS Society and still try to help out whenever I can. And I donate a free surf day or lesson at the charity auctions and all that. Fortunately, I've had my one episode. It hasn't come back. You know. Find something to knock on. I'm good. Ah, yeah. So, we go from there. The things Wingnut does never cease to amaze me. Here, after getting wiped out, he just body surfs up to his board, which happens to be upside down, hops back on, and keeps on riding. Oh, in the sleep. Oh, I, there's nothing worse than a guy telling a surf story about himself, so I'm not going to do that. You should have been here yesterday when tomorrow was today. Now that we have this chance for me to communicate to you what you need to understand about the ocean and surfing, just reach around behind the TV set and feel the power. <laughs>